When we say Deadpool, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Red spandex? Wild jokes? Swords and guns? Chimichangas? There are simply too many options. The same is true with his powers because healing is not his only superhuman ability. That's why in this video, we have listed his 10 hidden powers that you might have missed or maybe just overlooked. We will also quickly go through his origin story to better understand these hidden abilities, so without much delay, let's hop right in. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. It's a horror movie. Exploring Deadpool's origins. So, our wild anti-hero story starts as a normal child. Wade W. Wilson, living in a small town in Ohio. However, his household was highly dysfunctional and abusive. It was so toxic that Wade does not even have clear memories of his childhood. What he does remember is that his dad abandoned his family. After that, his mother became an alcoholic. Things got pretty bad, honestly. He blamed himself for his mom's poor condition, thinking that he was a burden to her. So, young Wade decided to hit the road and never be a burden to anybody. He then joined the military at the age of 17 and became adept in military tactics. But he was soon discharged. Thereafter, after he became a mercenary and kept changing his identity whenever things went wrong. During one of his missions in Canada, he met his name fellow and assassination target, Wade T. Wilson. However, he ended up killing his wife instead, and his real target ran away. It was an accident though. After this, our lead, Wade W., adopted the identity of his lost target, Wade T., out of respect for his dead wife. He had also been diagnosed with inoperable brain cancer, but a ray of hope shone on him in the form of the Weapon X program of the Canadian government. Since he was now going by as the Canadian Wade T. Wilson, he got easy access to it. He then volunteered in it and got implanted with Wolverine's healing factor, which did wonders for him. His cancer was finally controlled thanks to the rapid healing, but every coin has two sides and the other side of this coin got pretty gross for him. You see, as a side effect of this experimentation, his face became kind of ugly and he sort of lost his mental stability too. But hey, he got to join their internal team of mercenaries. However, this only lasted for a short time because his powers had some performance issues. So they sent him off to be treated in the hospice, a government facility for failed superhumans. Hospice had some torturous methods of experimentation. So the patients there had formed a betting pool to bet on who would die next in this facility. They called this the dead pool. Our hero adopted this name and then escaped this facility for good. This is the gist of his origin story. And now now, as promised, we will share with you his 10 hidden powers that often escape our eyes. Shit. Molecular Regeneration As we told you in the origin story, Deadpool has Wolverine's healing factor. So, you can kick him, stab him, or punch a hole with a bullet, ain't nothing gonna stop this guy. Every wound will get healed. However, there's one more special thing about him. His regenerative ability extends to the molecular level, so you can chop off his limbs, and he will simply grow new ones. It looks really funny also when he regenerates new body parts, as if a child's limb has been attached to an adult body. Heck, you can even decapitate this guy Guy, and he will simply reattach his head. So this practically makes him immortal. Interestingly, Thanos is responsible for this. Here's how. Our crazy anti-hero had once fallen in love with Death, and no, she was not a girl named Death. She was the real personification of Death. She told him that their relationship wouldn't move further until he dies. Although he could heal his injuries then, he wasn't an immortal. So it was not impossible for him to do so. However, Thanos has had some steamy history with Death. So how could he let Wade be with her? This is why Thanos turned Deadpool into an immortal, giving him this amazing ability at the cost of love. There's another interesting thing about his molecular regeneration. Even if he is decapitated, his body will move on his own, so his cut-off body parts don't just die away. They retain this regenerative ability, and this even led to some trouble for him once. Deadpool had once thrown away all his spare body parts, but these parts were discarded too close to each other. Owing to his powerful regenerative ability, those body parts joined together to form a completely new human. Yeah, you heard it right, and this person was an evil Deadpool who kept hurting the original. Now, that's nightmarish. Anyway, his healing and regenerative power is the crux of his abilities. They are also responsible for some of his other cool powers. So, let's have a look at them next. 
Disease immunity. Deadpool's healing powers are not confined to external injuries. They extend right to his body's immunity system. This means he is immune to all kinds of diseases, infections, disorders, and any other kinds of extreme elements that might threaten his health. So, no stuffy nose for him when the season changes. Well, that's quite comfortable, isn't it? Wait, so does that mean he can't be turned into a zombie either? The answer to that is yes and no. In the Night of the Living Deadpool comic, we can see him walking around uninfected during a zombie the apocalypse, but he did once turn into a zombie. He even completely destroyed a town as a zombie. However, his healing factors later kicked in and cured him back to normal. There's also the Marvel Zombies comic, which has a zombie Deadpool reduced only to a head. So yeah, the plot rules over his power sometimes. By the way, this also gives him a great metabolism, so he is immune to toxins also, although an extremely large amount of it might do the trick. It also saves him from health problems like obesity. This means he can keep on eating food or chugging alcohol without getting fat or hungover and never lose his abs. Guess everyone's jealous of him now, except for the alcohol part. That's a bummer. This ability is often overlooked, but it can come in pretty handy in many situations. Imagine being a poor, unaware enemy, mixing poison in his food or drinks just for it to have no effect on him, then getting your ass kicked for it. Seriously though, it gives him an edge over his opponents, who cannot attack him with poison, tranquilizers, or even even some mind control drugs. Oh, mind control also reminds me of his other super ability immunity to telepathy. As you guys know, Wade Wilson was suffering from brain cancer at one time, but then he became Deadpool and got cured of it. Well, the thing is, he was not exactly cured. In his brain, those cancer cells are constantly dying and regenerating, so his brain is not very stable. It is in a constant state of changing biology. This makes it difficult for telepaths to attack his mind. Mind control has always been a great challenge for heroes, because villains can make them dance at their fingertips with such an attack. Back. However, even the greatest psychic heroes like Cable, Professor X, and Emma Frost have not been able to invade Wade's mind. So forget about villains like Red Onslaught being able to control him, but I must mention that sometimes this ability does not work, making him vulnerable to psychic influences. For example, the Shadow King has been able to control him, and we've also seen Psylocke being able to telepathically influence him on several occasions. He can also be a part of a Psylink to telepathically communicate with others, as we have seen him doing as a a member of the X-Men. Besides, he is not safe from other forms of psychic attacks. It is just that his mind cannot be directly invaded. Given the amount of thoughts that go in his mind, and we all know what kind of thoughts they can be, I guess it's better if it remains this way. There's another hidden power similar to this immunity. It is possession resistance. If your tinkering mind had been wondering, maybe if we can't control Deadpool's mind, then maybe we should puppet his soul. Let me tell you, this ain't happening either. Deadpool plays solo, although his head is full of unique voices. Still, you can't simply rent his body. This resistance to being possessed is also similar to his immunity to telepathy. His unique anatomy helps him to fight off such possession. In case some demon or supernatural entity does manage to enter his body, Deadpool would continue to maintain control and then fight the demon off. This we have already seen in the 897th issue of the Deadpool Team Up comic. In that comic, he teams up with the Ghost Riders to bring down a demon named Zafan. However, Zafan manages to possess him, but to his surprise, he does not gain control of him, and the other voices inside Deadpool begin mocking him. After that, the Ghost Riders exercise Zafan out of Deadpool's body. It's a cool ability and a greatly useful one that renders his enemy harmless. Now, let's move on to his other powers. Teleportation. Iron Man has a suit with repulsors to travel, Spider-Man can swing his way to locations, and Ghost Riders have their bikes. On the other hand, Deadpool has a reliable taxi service, at least in the movies. But no matter how much reliable Dopinder's taxi might be, it isn't the most efficient way to travel. However, the transportation scene is different for him in the comics. In them, he has a handy teleportation device designed by his friend Weasel to quickly zap him to the locations. This was way too convenient for him though, so he stopped using the device after some while. Still, it was not like he swore never to teleport again. As we see in the Deadpool and Cable comic, he gets to use his friend Cable's teleportation ability. This happened because Cable swallowed our Merc with a mouse when he had melted into a puddle. This swallowing transferred Cable's genetic material into him, allowing him to body slide wherever Cable was at that moment. Teleportation surely is a great ability, but we can see why Deadpool decided to discontinue it. It would have made things way too easy for him, and where's the fun in that? 
Fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break. That's like 16. Fourth wall awareness. Besides his regenerative power, fourth wall awareness is his most recognizable ability. However, this ability can be much more than just comic relief. Breaking the fourth wall means that the fictional character acknowledges the existence of the audience. Deadpool does it a lot, but the way he does it is more unique than other characters. It is not only for comic or dramatic effect. For him, it is another level of cosmic self-awareness that his fellow superheroes lack. He had once crossed paths with the Beyonder, an omnipotent being aware of the Marvel Universe. He met him in the foundation of reality, a place where every event and universe originates. With this encounter, Deadpool became aware that he is, in fact, part of a comic. He walked away with this new cosmic awareness that has served him to fight opponents as well. With this ability, he has claimed to have read the past issues of these comics in order to gain tactical information about his opponents. That's quite an asset. He was also once being tortured by a mad scientist, so he endured it by reminding himself that this isn't reality and that all this torture is only a writer's imagination. He is also known to have ripped out his own comics pages because he didn't agree with the plot. Then, of course, how can we forget when Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe? He kills off the Avengers, the X-Men, and all the other characters. After that, he jumps into the reality of the comic writers and then kills them too. Pretty dark, isn't it? But this just shows how amazingly he can use this ability as an asset for himself. Expert Marksman and Martial Artist We told you in the origin story that Wade had served in the military for some time. That is when he started becoming adept in the use of weaponry. Since then, he has come a long way as a marksman and martial artist, and much is owed to his superhuman body as well. He has extremely good reflexes and agility, which comes in quite handy in martial arts. With impressive muscle coordination and balance, he has managed to master several hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques like Savat. He has also proven his martial arts skills by by fighting combat masters such as Wolverine and Taskmaster, and even defeating them. This high-level coordination has also helped him become an expert marksman. We have seen him kill three men with a single bullet in the famous bullet countdown scene. Heck, he can even slice bullets with his swords. That's not easy, and incredibly impressive. Whether it is guns or swords, he will make sure that the target is killed. You can also thank Bullseye for this. These two have long known each other and have tried their best to kill each other. Due to this, Deadpool has owned his marksmanship to a level at par with Hawkeye. Language Skills Deadpool has one more incredibly impressive ability that not a lot of people are able to master easily. That is languages. It really brings out the multi in being a multilingual. The job of a mercenary or assassin is not easy. This is because not only do they have to kill people in extreme situations, but they also don't know in which country their target might be. Navigating your way or even temporarily teaming up with someone can become a hindrance in such a case. However, Deadpool is not letting such an issue come in between his work. He has mastered several languages over the years, and it has proven to be helpful too. Besides English, he can talk in Spanish, Japanese, German, American Sign Language, and even Esperanto, an artificial language built as a second international language. We have already seen him using ASL to talk with Hawkeye, who is deaf, in the Hawkeye vs. Deadpool comic. He also used Spanish to talk with his teammates in the Deadpool and the Mercs for Money comic. Then, he speaks in Japanese in the Deadpool Team Up comic. Who knows, maybe he can speak even more languages and we just haven't had a chance to witness it. Whichever the case, it is a cool and helpful hidden skill. This is taking unsportsmanlike conduct to a whole new level. Unpredictability. Deadpool isn't Deadpool without his crazy and unpredictable antics, but this unpredictability is not only amusing or annoying, as some people may find it, it is also an unexpected aid in his fights. Bring in the genius tacticians to fight him. They won't be able to guess his next move, because even he does not know what he may do next. A fight against Deadpool can't be a game of chess, and Taskmaster learned it the hard way. He is a skilled tactician and martial artist who can copy his opponent's moves just by looking at them. However, things went against his expectations when he had to fight Deadpool. In the second issue of the 1997 Deadpool comic, the two face each other. Our hero totally confuses him in this fight as he begins to dance the Macarena out of the blue. Because of this, Taskmaster was not able to pin him down and defeat him. You can also see their animated fight in Season 2, Episode 16 of Ultimate Spider-Man. Now that's a hilarious episode where the master of copying moves failed to defeat our unpredictable Merc 
yet again. Thus, the main point here is that just because our Deadpool is unpredictable, it does not mean he is incompetent to fight. In fact, it only helps him because his enemies tend to underestimate his moves, which plays out in his favor. Superhuman Stamina Let me take you back to high school biology. When we do strenuous exercise or any such activity, our body produces lactic acid. It is important for energy production, but too much of it can cause muscle fatigue and cramps. That's not something heroes or mercenaries can afford. However, we all know how good Deadpool's metabolism is. Owing to this, his muscles produce less of such fatigue toxins. This allows him to last longer in fights than some of the other heroes can. He can go on fighting for days with without needing a breather in his fights. This makes him have better stamina than Captain America, who is usually considered able to fight for hours. He has also proved his exceptional stamina by fighting against some really challenging opponents like the Hulk and Carnage. He can also tirelessly fight against waves of zombies and aliens. There's one more thing, even if he were to tire himself out in the fight, his healing power would revive his cells to quickly spring him back to his peak performance levels. Someone's not counting. Six. Marvelous Verdict Most of these powers are often starkly visible to our eyes, but we tend to overlook their full potential. I hope we'll be able to see more of these amazing abilities in the upcoming movies. I also have high hopes for the Deadpool and Wolverine movie bound to release this July. How about you guys? What are your expectations for that film and which of these powers were you unaware of? Comment to let us know. As always, if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!